the heat around net neutrality was too hot for Flipkart to handle. The e-commerce giant today said that it was pulling out of its uh, controversial deal with Airtel, making a bold statement in favor of net neutrality. The highly contentious Airtel Zero service that offered preferential service to apps at a cost has drawn a lot of flack from uh, netizens uh, and also internet activists who believe it will curb uh, internet usage and the freedom on the net. Flipkart has been facing a lot of backlash since it agreed to partner with Airtel with users downgrading its app and openly voicing their dissent. But part of the Airtel isn't giving in just yet. The telecom media is adamant that its zero plan will only benefit customers and is merely a platform for service providers. Flipkart's change of heart and Bharti's stubborn stance over net neutrality is our big story of business tonight. Airtel has scored a zero quite literally. Amidst the huge uproar against any move to put the internet on a leash, Flipkart today logged out of its exclusive deal with Airtel Zero. Flipkart has accepted that the partnership with Airtel could have impacted the principles of free internet. Clearly, the Bunsels didn't want to be seen as the big daddies online who are against net neutrality. And as we understood the overall program more deeply, we realize in long term, you know, the zero rating has uh, can potentially uh, come in the way of um, absolutely clean net neutrality. And we as an organization very deeply committed to uh, open democratic uh, access of internet to all players and participants. The e-tailer clearly had a sudden change of heart. Barely 24 hours after Flipkart's co-founder Sachin Bansal was seen defending the partnership on Twitter amidst a raging debate that had netizens up in arms. Flipkart now wants others to follow suit too, hinting at the collaboration between Reliance and Facebook. It took us a few days. We were also a little bit, you know, uh, looking at the whole aspect of uh, 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 various other parallels where, you know, especially now the foreign companies have been subsidizing data for, uh, uh, you know, various initiatives. And we feel that it is a bit discriminatory that, um, you know, those services continue to uh, uh, violate net neutrality. This decision, which is clearly a well weighed out business strategy, has got a huge thumbs up from social media users. A move that will go a long way in helping Flipkart create goodwill among its customers. But the move clearly corners Airtel. And one wonders if India's original telecom czar will at all want to revisit the plan that has sparked this debate, even though some of his argument around costs of infrastructure do hold some weight. That apart, the debate on net neutrality is unlikely to die down anytime soon, especially given how opinion makers are throwing their weight behind this. With Rahul Dayama in Bangalore, Krishna Kumar, ET Now, Mumbai. Let's take that story forward and joining us is Mukesh Bansal of Flipkart to defend uh, their position and this real change in stance. Mukesh, thanks for joining us right here on ET Now. What has really changed for Flipkart between yesterday and today? Just yesterday, Sachin Bansal, Flipkart's co-founder, uh, was tweeting in support of the association uh, with Airtel Zero despite all the criticism on the net. And now, this announcement of walking out from the negotiations. What has changed in 24 hours? There's absolutely nothing that has changed in, you know, uh we have just been evaluating. It took us some time to really understand it's a complex issue with a lot of uh, uh, different aspects to it. So we debated as a team. We looked into the implications and what it can possibly mean for the long-term future. And we just felt that zero rating as a program can potentially you know, uh, come in the way of uh, pure net neutrality in future. And with that realization, we decided not to participate in this. One gets the feeling that it's on the back of the huge uproar uh, and now with mainstream media also joining in. But why did Flipkart consider this association with Airtel in the first place? You know, you've been a big beneficiary of, of free internet uh, when you were a smaller company. Why did you consider this association in the first place? No, we are always considering things, you know, which can make internet easily accessible to all of Indians. You know, we still have a long way to go. We would like to see a future where everybody has access to affordable internet. And it's really from that light, we looked into this, whether it can help us service that objective, uh, even though this would have allowed us to reach more consumers, but it would have, you know, compromised larger principles are very important to all of us at Flipkart. And that's the reason we are not participating in this. Okay, now that you've taken a position, in, in your sense, what's the way forward? There is a huge debate in the country right now on net neutrality. Telecom companies are uh, sticking to their position uh, on net neutrality. They believe there should be net equality uh, as well. Uh, what's your position uh, on this issue and, and what's the way forward as far as regulation is concerned governing net neutrality? Now the TRA is also looking into it. Our stance is that, you know, any regulations which ensures that uh, 
access to data is very democratic. Data is not charged differently. Uh, it's not a function of who is paying for the data, whether the consumer or the uh, service providers. And there is absolutely no discrimination at any level. Those are the right regulations and the right environment for the growth of internet uh, in the country and will be supportive of any such uh, regulation. Mukesh Bansal, thanks for joining in with that perspective right here on Business Tonight on ET Now. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ET Now and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at ET Now Live. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash ET Now.